At the front of the car, we have five of the eight radiators. The two on the outside are the main engine cooling radiators. And in the middle, we have some of the cooling for the cabin and the electric components. And the air for those centre radiators is fed from the horseshoe on the front of the car. But we divert that air to the sides and out through the top of the bonnet so that we can preserve in the middle the luggage space. Behind that we have the electric axle which is very integrated snugly in the structure to keep the wheelbase low and that's two 250 kilowatt electric motors and those are connected directly to the front wheels and that allows us to give a full four-wheel drive capability but also the ability to use torque vectoring to divert torque to one front wheel or the other to improve performance and handling. Here at the rear of the car we have the heart of the car, the naturally aspirated V16 engine and you can see what we've had to do to keep the wheelbase of the car under control. It's a very long engine but the wheelbase is actually only 29 millimetres longer than the Chiron. So we've done that by pushing the engine right forward, the fuel tanks have moved to the side and it means that the engine is very close behind the driver and passenger and that keeps the car compact. You can see here the, the back of the transmission and the rear electric motor which is another 250 kilowatt motor. So having the rear motor we can either use that to augment the combustion engine or we can drive in a fully electric mode using either that motor or the motors at the front of the car. The key to making the package of the rear of the car work is having these integrated crash structures which are integrated with the diffuser. So it means we can avoid having a complete rear beam right across the back of the car, but instead we have a, a more optimised solution that's integrated into the diffuser. Overall you can see why it was very important for us to to have the ability to do a whole new platform, to properly optimise and integrate all of the, the technologies in this car. Here we have the main monocoque of the tourbillon, and there are a couple of key technical features here. One is that the seat will only go up and down, it will not slide backwards and forwards. That helps us to both keep the wheelbase short, which helps with weight and package, but also helps us to keep the height of the car overall lower.